Hello, all right, let's get right to the point. If you want to make a bridge, you would place down a sign like this, put bridge on the second line. You would get a little message on the bottom left and go on the other end and do bridge on the second line here as well. If you right click it, surprise. <laughs> it can also be redstone activated, which is always nice. Always very fun to have. Important thing there about bridges that they can be made out of various kinds of materials like cobblestone, uh, stone, wood planks, whatever. Uh, they have to be three wide though and the signs can also be uh, they can also be on the side as well if you really prefer that instead of having it on top and looking like a mess it's really up to you alternatively we have doors which are pretty much just bridges but vertical so in this case at the bottom of the door in the middle we will have a sign that says door up on the second line in brackets just like the bridge and then at the top we will have a sign that says door down. Now of course what happens when I right click this, you know, I'm down, 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 down. <laughs> it can also be redstone activated. Uh, moving forward, uh, we also have gates. Gates are a little bit different in that they use fences instead. And for that we can have gates on the second line and square brackets just like that. Right click it and see it opens and closes down there. Differently from doors and bridges, they can be wider than three blocks. See, doors are just like bridges that they can only be three blocks wide. Anything more than that and it just won't open it. But this can be pretty, pretty wide. I don't know exactly what the limit is, but don't go too crazy. And as if those, it can also be redstone activated. Moving forward, uh, we have light switches. Light switches, um, second line, you'd put a capital I. It has to be a capitalized I in the second line in square brackets. And you'll see, of course, the message light switch created. So the thing about this, you right click it and it kind of turns everything into a redstone torch. It like dims the lights, but they're not functional redstone torches. Uh, yeah, as you, can, <laughs> as you can see, I turn them off, it stays on. Likewise, if I do it like this, and as you can see, it's not lit up. So they're not really properly functional. Now the thing about this, you have to know is that if you don't have a torch right above it, it won't do anything. You have to have a torch directly above it in order for it to work and it will turn all torches in uh, a radius into a redstone torch. Again, I'm not sure right offhand how big this radius is, you just have to play around with it. Over here we have what's called a hidden switch. So I got this block right here made of wool and everything else in stone. You don't have to change the block, I just do it so I remember what I'm looking at. This is going to be our hidden switch. As you can see I actually already have it set up. I right click it in the bottom hand it says you hear the muffled click of a switch. The way this works is that on the other side of the block we have a sign with an X on the second line. The way this works is that it will actually activate nearby switches uh, or levers such as this. So as you can see uh, if I right click it again it turns the lever off. Right click it, it's lit. <laughs> Moving forward, uh, another thing that we have is turning it daytime so I can actually see what's going on. Needs. Next up, we have lifts. Lifts can be done like this, like a lift up sign. Second line, <coughs> oh, forgive me. And what this will do is make it so that when you right click the sign, it will move you up. However, as you can see in this, it says that the lift has no destination. So we need to make a destination. So we can do up here, we can do the second line lift up as well and then lift down. So this sign now has two functions and the way it'll work is that if I right click it I won't go up but if I hold shift and right click it I'll go nowhere. <laughs> okay maybe I don't I didn't didn't quite understand how that one worked forgive me. So anyway the lift up sign what you can do instead is have it so the arrival point is lift and so you right click lift up and it ends up at lift. You right click lift, nothing happens. So alternatively you can have a lift down sign beneath it, again second line, and this will make it so it goes to the lift up below it. And you can do this as much as you like. You can have a lift up above it and then a lift down sign here and that will make it so if I right click lift down I end up on the next floor. So as you can see it's basically an elevator system. They have to be on the same XZ coordinate. As you can see, these are all straight up from each other. It has to be like this or it won't work. 
Next up we have bouncy blocks, always a fan favorite. The way this works is that you have to have a diamond block and you put beneath it a sign that has jump on the second line and the X, Y, Z coordinates of where the player will go when they jump on this block. So for me, I want a person to go directly up. So my X would be zero, my Y would be five, and my Z would be zero. Because Y is the axis that goes up and down. This would cause it so the player goes directly up. So let's see how that works. Landing on it, nothing happens. Now if I attempt to jump, way into the air I go. It's exactly how it works. And you'll see just by landing on I actually keep jumping. So it's pretty cool like that. And for the most part, that should pretty much cover everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just, I don't know, just let me know, I guess. <laughs>